Welcome back to another episode of Smart Money Sundays. I hope you're doing very, very well. Uh, just going to be a quick video today and, and it might not be as good quality as usual because I am traveling with the team on holiday, um, but I figured I'd get on here nevertheless uh, and kind of give you a, a broad outlook for the week ahead as usual, um, as I know you all love this series so much and it helps so much um, with your weekly analysis. Okay, so just kind of start off on Euro JPY, uh, the call out from last week, obviously I gave you this very specific level here at 130.168. You can go back and watch it. Uh, congrats if you paid attention to it last week uh, and caught the very bottom of last week's candlestick. Uh, as you can see, it mooned almost 300, 250 pips uh, all week. So really good if you paid attention. We're throwing, we're calling these things out week in, week out, uh, and I really love it. So good job if you caught it. All right. So we'll head on over to Euro USD and start off there for the week ahead and what we're looking at here. So personally, what I'm seeing is I want to see some dollar strength come into the market relatively quickly to, to, to open up the week. All right. So Euro USD obviously traded into this level. I, I sent out into the aerial effects signals chat last week to the T. A very nice reaction from our inefficiency here. All right, so for the here and now, what I'm thinking on this is either we respect, obviously up close here, which ran liquidity, traded into inefficiency, and I have a 20 minute candle here. So I'm looking for first and foremost, first POI will be 1.196. Now, if we do breach that one more time and breach the highs, I do believe we can trade a little bit higher into our prior demand on the daily time frame, turn that into supply. Okay, we would run out previous week's high just very quickly and then sell off. Okay, so I'm looking at kind of, I boxed off this doji candle as demand, looking to turn that into supply. If you go down to the lower time frames, you can see a four hour up close candle here uh, aligning within our higher time frame box. Okay, so if we do end up running the high one more time, this would be a beautiful level. Kind of around 1.19 or 1.2. So I apologize for uh, for the dogs barking in the background. Like I said, I'm I'm not at my setup right now. I'm out of my element, but bear with me. Uh, it's it's not going to be like a usual episode. Um, nevertheless, like I said, we could run this high. Obviously, you can see that four hour 50 EMA is capping price. Uh, and so if we do run it one more time, I will be looking at this candlestick here as my next POI. Otherwise, if we get the proper time and price around London session open, I would like to see us trading into this up close here. All right. So that is your USD. And obviously, you know, first targets can very easily be our relative equal lows down here. And then obviously our first POI to look for accumulation on the higher time frame, 50% of our, our down move here at 1.1825. Okay, so I'd like to see us at least trade into here. And if this thing really gets going and dollar strength continues, I think there is still a possibility that we breach this structure point and trade into our old high on the daily time frame at 1.15. Okay, so like we said last week, obviously we are kind of trapped in a wedge at the moment, higher low, lower high relative to this high. Okay, obviously in a higher time frame uptrend, we favor continuations to the upside. It's just a matter of where. Okay, so first upside or excuse me first buy zone i'm looking at as we spoke about last week will be this level 1.1825 if we do breach then obviously retesting our old high within market structure from a long time ago which was never retested all right so very clean on eu obviously looking for kind of here and now looking for selling opportunities back down and then ultimately looking for that accumulation to get a nice rr trade to the upside trade into this poi 1.23 we've been talking about and then ultimately 1.25 hundred is my overall objective uh, long term for euro USD okay so very clean and of course you know most dollar pairs are going to be following suit with this kind of analysis okay so AUD USD was another one that I sent out last week uh, around this region of price here obviously we're in a little bit of profit at the moment um, and so really I'm, I'm expecting this thing to just drop. Okay. And so, you know, we very well could again, run the high kind of like we're looking for maybe on Euro USD 
and then I'm ultimately looking for the sell-off, all right? So expect to see some type of manipulation around London session open on these XXX USD pairs, looking for that kind of buy to sell around London open uh, tonight into tomorrow. Okay, so Monday morning London session, I'll be looking specifically for that on a lot of these dollar pairs, all right? Nothing in particular though, in terms of a POI here, obviously we have the higher time frame level we have marked off here, which traded into an old low here. Okay, as you can see, breached the old low in structure, retest here with this up close. So this becomes kind of my POI here, stair stepping this market on down into our higher time frame level we spoke about last week. Old high within structure, never retested on the higher time frame. All right, so I'm expecting 7,400 on AUD USD, and that has not changed uh, from last week's analysis. Okay, so very clean. GBP USD, all right, kind of same deal. You can see that we are respecting our four hour 50 EMA, okay? Expansionary move, we're tracing the four hour 50 EMA. It's a great guidance in terms of dynamic support and resistance. I like to use it. I understand that it's retail, but it's only a confluence. Four hour 50 EMA, is. it helps with areas of interest. So if you don't use it, I would highly recommend using it as a confluence surrounding our smart money uh, concepts, okay? so. GU, nothing really in particular on this one. Uh, if we do get that pop up, I do kind of like this four hour supply. Okay. Kind of at 1.395. If we do breach, then obviously our next level is going to be the low within market structure here. Okay, so again, just like EU and AU, looking for that kind of buy to sell or buy to sell running out these relative highs here. Okay, and again, what gives me conviction that this thing will trade down is the fact that we did not even trade into our old down close candle here. Very, very, very clean down close candle here. That was never accounted for. 1.3766, that was never, that has never been traded into. We came close, but we did not account for it, okay? So we, I, I firmly believe that we will trade at least down into this level where I'll look for potentially accumulation. Okay, and again, this, these are levels I gave you last week as well, so you should already have them. And if we do breach this level, I'm looking for, again, this level at 1.3600 following the mitigation train. All right, so that is GBP USD, again, aligning with our other dollar pairs. All right, Euro JPY. Obviously, we spoke about this level that was given out last week for a beautiful trade. Now, uh, in terms of this week, I'm expecting a retracement would be very nice, at least into the open of this candlestick here on the four hour time frame, which traded into this four hour candlestick here. So mitigation train, four hour down close, trades into four hour down close. Okay, and this is what we call mitigation train, and there's some other techniques we use. Uh, within our courses if you're interested in that um, this kind of stuff is very very powerful all right so euro jpy looking for that retracement into the open or 50 percent uh, 130 kind of 50 and if you go back you can see that this area of price here up close run liquidity up close mitigate run liquidity okay so this is a very sensitive institutional level here in my opinion 130.46 and if we go over in fib down close candle here you can see that the 50 percent aligns perfectly with that institutional level to the left okay so we could get an even steeper kind of retracement into here which would kind of validate our eu shorts to start the week and then get that push up as the yen is very very weak and this is this is just not a top in the market okay ultimately euro jpy i expect to trade up into this region of price where we ran out liquidity all right, 135.8. Uh, so again, short-term weakness, looking for accumulation. At this level, I would prefer the 50% of this level uh, to get long on this pair uh, yet again. Okay, so another fire setup for you guys on Euro JPY. I really like that as well. GBP CHF is another one. Um, obviously, we spoke about this last week. And we've been catching all the long opportunities on this cross for quite some time. Uh, but again, it is still within this range. Okay, and you remember our POI that we wanted to trade into. Sure enough, last week, obviously we tapped right into that blue box. 
was given out and traded back down within the range. All right, so for now, I just would not touch this pair. I would not touch it. We are falling back into the middle of the range and you don't want to get caught in the middle of a range, okay? When markets are ranging, we always want to be sellers above old highs and buyers below old lows.